muffins. I didn't expect you to actually like them. <laughs> Thank you, Edith, for making all the muffins. Hey, Ryan. Good morning, sir. Hello. How do you like your muffin? You have the odd one out. Oh, I guess with Dee Dee. That's good. good. These are what? Chocolate blueberry? Ooh, chocolate blueberry muffins. And what is this one? Regular. Regular, just blueberry muffins? Yep. Wow, thank you, Edith. Mm -hmm. And I made the chocolate one without a recipe. Wow, I'm excited to try it. I love them from the other. Yeah, that's fine. What are we doing, guys? Decorating the tree, which you're not helping to do. Yeah. Who put the lights on? You. Who put it up? You. Who had to trim the branches? You. We're talking about and decorating. The, and put the tree back in. We're talking about decorating hmm? with ornaments. Hmm? We're talking about decorating. So you just gotta <coughs> let, let this sit like a nest. What? I. There's some back here. Over here, Sanji. Back here. Maybe. Well, I'll go get some more ornaments. This tree. I'm not going to survive. This tree is not. It's either me or the tree. I got the silver one. It's so ones. prickly. No. No, that is silver. No silver, Just baby. Gold. Yeah. There's these uh, snowflakes over here. Ooh. Yeah, that's yours. And this is mine. Make sure the Mr. David and Miss Lucy. Yes. Isaac, yeah. It's from well, I guess it's from his mommy and daddy, Mr. David's mommy and daddy, because they went, they went back to China and they brought back souvenirs for us. Did you say? Mama macaroni. Mama macaroni. Where did you learn that from? Whoa. Whoa. Let, let me see. Let me see. Let's show me. Show me. Change the spaces. Okay, okay, let me see yours. As I like it. Oh, angry. Hello. Oh, yellow. <gasps> wow, there's so many different colors, actually. How many colors do you have? Don't break it, please. Don't Four. break it. One. Hello, guys. Uh, so, today's vlog is obviously super short. I'm actually coming from the future and editing in this last part. The vlog that I was working on was probably only like three to four minutes of clips. Unfortunately, I did not vlog a lot that particular day and our air just kicked on. So it's probably super loud now because I don't have a good mic. But um, I wanted to hop on here to close out this vlog and really just chit chat, you know, casually without having to take you guys along with me anywhere. Today is actually Friday, but you'll be seeing this, I think like Saturday maybe. Peter is actually out with my brother and I am home, the kids are asleep. It's like almost 11 at night. So here I am. I thought I would close it out by um, just doing a day of Advent with you guys. This is the Advent that we have been doing with our family for this and it's called Journey to Christmas and it's 25 devotionals for Christmas. I thought it would be fun to just kind of read this through with you guys. Let's jump right on in. Today's is The Call of God and the Bible verse that they're referencing is Matthew chapter 1 verses 20 to 21. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because 
What is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. So they are kind of tying it in, and some, some days they tell a story a little bit about uh, their personal lives, personal experiences. We will see what today is. Uh, this is the wife writing, so it's like a husband and wife duo. You are called, yes, you. The calling comes in two parts. First, God has called you to himself. He has called you to accept his free gift of salvation and to believe that he loved the world so much that he gave his son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And then that was referenced from John 3.16. Second, if you have accepted the first part of his call, God has a task for you. He may not have called you to a vocational ministry, or maybe he has, but you have not accepted that call. Most likely, God has called you to do something in his kingdom that only you can do. When you accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord, you were gifted by the Holy Spirit with certain gifts that are meant to build up and edify the church. There are lists all through the Apostle Paul's writings of what those gifts could be. For example, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul gives this list. A manifestation of the Spirit is given to each person for the common good. To one is given a message of wisdom through the Spirit, to another a message of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the Spirit, to another the performing of art or the performing of miracles, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. One and the same spirit is active in all these, distributing to each person as he wills. You cannot say that you have no role in the church because God has gifted every single one of us through his spirit. Consequently, you are called to use that gift. You cannot keep it to yourself. There is a task for you to do. You must seek the Lord and find out what that task is. Through his help, you will be able to live out your calling. Joseph and Mary were both called to a huge task, one bigger than themselves. One they could not do on their own. It was going to take supernatural help to be the earthly parents of God in the flesh. They could have said no. They could have disobeyed. But they chose to answer the call. The entire world needed them to do the task that God had called them to do. The world needs what only you can do as well. You are special. You are important to the kingdom. And when you deny the call of God on your life, you are denying the kingdom of your gifts and you are disobeying God. Don't take that risk. Answer the call. Be faithful to what God's calling you to do. A world awaits. They're tying it into how we are all gifted in something once we receive the holy spirit into us once we accept jesus into our hearts uh the holy spirit is living and active inside of us and from the holy spirit we are given spiritual gifts and just like they mentioned in first corinthians 12 there's other ones as well but we need to as believers build one another up edify one another and work together as body of Christ to build up the kingdom of God uh, for God's glory and for our good. I've realized over the years that whenever I am not practicing or using my spiritual gifts, I feel very unfulfilled. I just have this emptiness because God created us to do life in this way. We have a purpose. God has given each one of us a unique purpose in Jesus Christ and it's a matter of obeying and listening to that call. I like delved into this in the past couple of years, hardcore really, uh, because I really wanted to be used by God. Um, and however that looked like, I wanted to find out like what my spiritual giftings were, what were my strong seeds, what could I grow in, things like that. So I did like a huge like in-depth study on spiritual gifts and I've come to a place of really embracing my gifts and really being in tune with it. Obviously it's never perfect. I always have room for improvement, always have room for growth. It is such a blessing truly to be able to live in your spiritual giftings and how God has given them to you, how he has purposed you for the kingdom of God.
that's pretty neat and it all points back to jesus christ the one who came to die so that we could have the holy spirit live inside of us so that we can have eternal life with god in heaven but also that we can have a personal relationship with him now we could question ourselves or just reflect check our hearts where are we in our walk with the lord if we're walking with the lord how does uh, god want to use us and this is a perfect time of the year i think to think through all of these things just because people are really into new year's resolutions and it's a start a new start a new beginning things like that so it's always a good time of the year to reflect on what god has done what god will do and uh, if we're walking in the will of god or not but thank you guys so much for watching I hope this is somewhat encouraging to you and you could obviously dialogue more in the comments or I could do a separate video as well going more in depth about spiritual giftings but thank you guys so much for watching and as always remember that you are so very much loved by God who created you. See you guys tomorrow. Bye!